What's up everyone, it's your one and only PSJD, and this is... Tomb Raider. Okay, getting straight into it. Playable with kids? Nope. Bow -bow. Playable when they're around? Bow -bow. Playable with them in earshot? Probably not, because there's also swearing in it. It also does come with a multiplayer mode, and it comes with this single player mode, which I'm focusing on today in my review. Multiplayer mode isn't really anything flash, but you can get a little bit of fun out of it for 10 or 15 minutes. This is, in fact, very much a linear point A to point B game. And that's one thing that I really, really love about it. And just on the topic, you know when you see your friend playing a game and they're like leaning to one side or they're just like motionless while they play the game and you kind of go up next to them and tap them on the shoulder and they jump? Well, this game has that type of effect on you. I think it just pulls you into the environment. And because it's linear, you don't have to concentrate on much. You can enjoy the actual experience. One of the really great things that they've done in this game is once you unlock an area, you can go back and find the collectibles. There's all different types, but it gives that level a little bit of extra depth and a little bit more gameplay and gives you the incentive to go and investigate the environment a little bit more. And I've really enjoyed going back and doing that in this particular game. And as we can see right there, the control system and the prompts is pretty good for what Mario needs to do. But one thing I want to take a very quick uh, glance at is just the detail. Have a look at the amount of detail that's in this rustic plane that's corroded and there's, there's bolt marks everywhere. You can even see down to the platform where the grass and the stones and the wood are. You've got to pay attention in these games, especially on this particular platform, how much more detail that there is. In addition to the other good stuff that I've mentioned, you can upgrade parts of the weapons and you can also earn XP to unlock skills for Lara. And they might be different combos or the ability to use different weapons. It's not a grind though and it's very rewarding and I guess it adds a little bit more depth to Lara's character. And here's one now. On the PSN it's currently $59.95 and it just recently went through a sale where it was $17.99. I told a whole bunch of my mates to go grab it straight away because this game really is incredible. It's very, very enjoyable and very, very rewarding. But Share Factory is telling me that I am running out of time, so therefore I have to go. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to listen. Until next time, enjoy the PlayStation gaming and thanks for watching your one and only PSGD.